finally decided to do this painting of me sitting in an Audi because I see myself as this like cool, detached, like rock star. But I'm not really selling myself on the idea. I haven't been critiqued by the judges at all, and my work doesn't appear to be pushing the judges' buttons in any way. New York is a really cool place, but it's a little too busy for me sometimes. I grew up in rural Minnesota with lots of woods. Being in the city just kind of complicates the storm in my head. And so that's kind of where the OCD thing comes in. Sometimes I get stuck and stare. It's just not fun. And it's just depressing and I get really, really anxious. And the way that I get comfortable is by being totally alone. I'm working on this screen print of a photo that I took of this empty doorway. Trying to get at the quiet moments in New York City that were standing out to me amongst the hustle and bustle of everything. And then in front of that photograph will be these two structures that I've seen around construction sites. What are you thinking? I was just going to layer a bunch of things and then kind of like crumple it up and just cast it. <laughs> Miles is really awesome. I think we have a lot of similar concepts or inspired by similar things. He's probably the closest person to me in this competition. I think you've got a cool, like, form yeah. going. She's so damn good looking. And if Nicole ever made a move on me, the universe might implode. And if it didn't, then I would probably clam up, get really shy, and ruin things. Thanks for your print. I'm here for you, pal. Miles is completely manipulative. I see how he acts normally in the apartments, and then I see how he acts during challenges and in front of the judges, and it's two completely different people. I think he's an actor, plain and simple. Cut up my prints. Why are you listening to your camera? When we were in the car, I recorded sounds and our conversation. Oh. So I'm just kind of like, you know. I was confused about that. I actually recorded sound bites throughout the trip. The Audi is so light and you feel suspended. So to incorporate that feeling, I'm going to suspend crumpled up stories of the day and coat that with a clear resin. I want to make the viewer feel that hovering or that suspension. It's so... Bad, it's good. Yeah, I like it. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At home, my process is kind of interesting. I get to go through my fashion magazines, take a pile of pornography, and see if I can find some really good naked ladies, and then just start working. Start drawing. So I start thinking about teasing the cart. Like all the words that I can make up that go with Audi. Saudi, haughty, gaudy. I think it's an interesting idea, and I hope that the judges see the humor in my work. Good evening, everyone. Hello, Simone. I hope you had an inspiring day, and I'm here for my studio visit. Hey, Jamie Lynn. Hello, Simone. How are you doing? I'm great. So tell me. How did our morning's journey inspire you? The main thing that initially inspired me was just how much fun it was in the car with you and Abdi. <laughs> what I'm doing is kind of like a, like a rock around the clock of myself just kind of rocking out to some hip hop music. I'm gonna do some gold and some silver spray paint. Um, this one's really fun and I love dancing, so. I feel the same, you know, uh, dancing is one of the greatest activities I can think of, uh, at least the, uh, of the ones that we can speak on on television. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway. I'm sorry about that. I do apologize. <laughs> Aren't you a bit worried about time? Because uh, you describing it sounds a little uh, yeah. complex. And um, at the last opening, you saved yourself just by a hair. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But I think I'll be okay. I'll make it work. <laughs> yes. I really think my piece kind of scares him a little bit. But I'm going to be positive. Because if I want to make a piece that's got... 24 debutantes in wedding gowns on a dinosaur, then that's what I need to do. Jamie's piece doesn't seem to strike me as a, an incredibly mature work. 
I'm actually concerned about her because I think it looks a little bit hokey. Hey, Jacqueline, how are you doing? Hi. First of all, congratulations. Oh, you made it to the you. top two last week, which is great. Thank you. Simone's feedback is really important to me because I think that it's important that my personal experience be very relatable to other people, especially to a man. What I'd like to do is like pin these up to a wall and throw a paintball at them. So it's like I caught them. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Yes, I so, think that is an interesting take on it. Keep it up and go for it. Okay. How's it going? Let me ask you, are you narcissistic by any chance? <laughs> every time, every challenge, you're doing a self-portrait of you. I know you look good, yeah, but uh, yeah. it's been the basis of every single one of your works. Is it been? Ryan might be one of the craziest people in the competition. He always has a slight smell of alcohol on him, but he's, he's a great guy. Yeah. Explain me what, what you're trying to do. For me, it was like this really sort of exciting experience. I was like blasting music and like cutting off cabs. So you're trying to convey some of all of that in your painting? Yeah, it's sort of like this distended triptych and uh, it's like stretched out, you know? Like you think of when, when uh, I don't know, when people hit warp speed in movies. I would try and really give it something a little special so that it's not just seen as a very conventional portrait. Okay. And yeah. uh, I think that's the danger that you're running right now. Pretty conventional at the end of the day. Yeah. Thank you so much, Ryan. Okay. After talking to Simone, I was freaking out a little bit. I don't know what I should do to my thing. At this point, I feel like I started with the wrong idea. I'm thinking, oh my God, what have I done? <sighs> Coming up on Work of Art. Jackie thinks she knows everything. I don't like Mark's piece. It's just like hotel art. Hey, Mark. How are you doing? Hello, Simone. Uh, I can't Don't shake worry. your hand right now, but... That looks like a total departure from what you've used us to. Driving around today, not only did I remember how much I missed driving, but how much, looking at a map, you miss the, the life and the color of the city mm -hmm. because you just see a grid. I'm, I'm sure there'll be uh, Mondrian references here and there, but... Uh, yes, do you like um, Mondrian's work? Um, I do. I, I definitely think that there's a, a need for um, re-evaluation of it. So, this so you're I'm trying, trying to, to be the 21st century Mondrian? Uh, God, I hope not. <laughs> I just, uh, I'm just trying to add a little life to uh, boring maps. Okay. And you're going to add layers and layers and layers uh, during the few hours that you still have at your disposal? Exactly. I find it very brave of you to go completely in a different direction. Um, hopefully I'll prove something with this piece. Mm -hmm. We'll see what happens. I'll try and make you proud. Thank you. Hey, Miles. How are you doing? Hey, Simone, how are you? So, tell me what you're doing and how it was inspired by this morning's uh, journey and experience. I'm so kind of overstimulated by it. I think the mm -hmm. things that are popping out to me are um, just more simple, quiet moments that I find around the city. It's so gorgeous, I must say, here. And it does convey uh, a certain serenity in a way. And then in front of this will be placed this police barricade that I'll make out of um, a crappy pine 2 by 4 I think the police barricade in front of it could really add the... I think so too, uh, yeah. I urban think, feeling that yeah. you had this morning. Yeah, it'll give a little bit more of an environment. It's going to be really beautiful against this. Good luck. Thanks, man. Thank you so much, Miles. Have a good one. I have an announcement to make for you, Nicole. Oh, God. You will have to share a new home at William Beaver House with all your female colleagues. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I see you still have a little bit of time tonight. Good luck, and I look forward to see you at the exhibition. Oh. <laughs> I can usually live with anybody, but I'm concerned because it's always a production with Jackie. Jackie's a crazy chick. I wake up super late, and I take 15 minutes to get ready, so. Well, I don't take 15 minutes. But... I know. Do you think it would be more interesting for my 
paint splotches to be white or red. What? In red is blood. So I think is funnier. Like bird white. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Jackie gets the most help from everybody in the studio, even though she thinks she knows everything, as far as I'm concerned. I don't think she's smart enough to come up with ideas on her own. Okay, that's good, guy. Drop some paint on my piece now. <laughs> with any luck, it'll be safe again. <laughs> that's all my art has been so far. I don't like Mark's piece. He's like, oh, it's a map. Oh, blah, blah. Like, whatever, it's just like hotel art. It's just so ridiculous. <laughs> I almost want to display it on a high air podium. It's going to make that space underneath that much yes, better. I know, that's what I was thinking. Well, then do it. I'm excited about this piece. This is my favorite piece so far. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow. If they hate it, then I'll just be like, whatever. Wow. Guys, we have 10 minutes. 10 minutes. I'm exhausted. Are. I was not able to begin constructing the framing element to my piece. I feel like I'm not going to have enough time tomorrow to do it. It's as good as it's going to get. I'm tired. I'm sorry. blow dry my hair. Where should I go? I got your bed ready in here. All right, I have to take a shower. This is okay. ridiculous. Good night. Good night. I'm like, crap. Living with Jackie is going to be a lot harder than I thought. Are you worried about tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. Even more so now being in the bottom twice. My piece might be in a little bit of trouble because it's so sort of literal. 